by four squared. I've just been chilling in Oman for the last couple of days in the mountains. So freaking beautiful. Um, so I had two days off. <laughs> it was super nice. Heading to a Mercedes car launch in Abu Dhabi. We're gonna go on a big road trip in this beast. Massive thanks to Superior Rental. They hooked me up because I was like, Lucy's not gonna make it. It's off road. back to the UAE. Lewis Hamilton's going to be there. Yep, Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton, makes sense. We've got this incredible Mercedes to bring with us. Let's go. This is how you move the chair forward in the G-Wagon. what they eat out here. It doesn't seem like there's any food. So we're talking to Superior Rental about what we could take to Oman. They have the most awesome cars in their fleet, like not usual of supercar rental places, right? They had an 812 super fast that we could have taken and I've never driven that before but we'll have to do that at another point because that could not have made it over these bumps oh, Whoops. Sorry. that's where we've been staying in Ziggy Bay oh. that's funny uh, who do you think is going to win? can I go? <laughs> it's blocking your road oh, here mate it's plenty of room mate plenty, plenty of room, room. Plenty thank of you, room. you thank you thank you not expect to see something bigger than me on this route. <laughs> so this is a V8 big turbo, just over 420 horsepower. This is a fully militarized zone. There's military from so many countries just over this mountainside here. We've got the UAE army, Omani army, I think the American army is there, UK, uh, yeah. It's a highly patrolled area, so you've got to have special permits to come in here. And uh, yeah, it just makes it all the more secluded and quite a nice little getaway, really. Why is it? Uh... Well, because Iran is like a 30 minute speedboat trip away from this um, coast. <laughs> Project One delivery right now. No 
정말 맛있었어. Approved. I wonder what car launched this tonight. I wonder what car. Might be Mercedes. Ooh. Might be. Lewis Hamilton is about to drive the new car right behind us. Super excited to be here in Abu Dhabi, looking forward to the last race. These seasons are incredibly long, but um, I'm really excited about getting back in the car. It just never gets old. Sitting in the GT, the four-door coupe, you've driven this car. It's one of the fastest cars of its uh, generation that's gone around the Nürburgring. You drive the fastest cars in the world, and you drive them more quickly than any other driver. Tell us a little bit about this car. What do you feel when you sit there? How do you relate to, to the modern products from AMG? It's incredible to see the development of these cars nowadays. Um, the, obviously, the, the, the two-door version of this car is the one that I'm following around when we have a safety car, um, which I've driven around the track, and the performance that has been incredible. But now what they've been able to do, to do with the four-door, extend that car. If you've seen the boot space, the trunk space here is incredible. Um, but still keep that, um, that safety car-esque um, balance and performance. So, um, it's, and the engine now is just getting more and more powerful in these, these um, AMG engines. So, and you get more and more gadgets in, in the car to actually uh, simulate what it's like in the Formula 1 car in terms of being able to adjust balance and those kind of things. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I've had a lot of fun. I didn't get to drive on the, on the North Life. But. Lewis. Your journey in Formula One, 12 seasons, five world championships, this has been an amazing effort and you constantly talk about team. And I say to people who don't know you, that I get asked, you know, what's Lewis really like? And I say, well, look, when he mentions team, he truly means that in that you can only do it with a great team behind you. Within our team, there's over a thousand people. I've been with Mercedes since I was 13 and, um, and all my wins, all, all the success I've had have been with Mercedes. I was actually powered by Mercedes in 2005 in Formula 3 as well, so it's been a long journey with them, and I'm really proud to be a part of the, the naturally part of the family, part of the heritage, and to s just be on this great journey with them. You're not just a racing driver, you have your fashion line, you're more active, I think, social media-wise and, and globally than any other driver, so you take on additional responsibility, whether you realize it or not. How do you keep that energy? How do you keep that motivation? Well, it is a privilege to be doing what, what, what I do. I mean, there's only 20 of us in the world that get to race these Formula 1 cars. I wanted to do this when, um, when I was that small. I was five years old when I wanted to be a Formula 1 driver. And that was my dream, and I never lost sight of that. And I've been very, very fortunate. My family worked incredibly hard to help me be where I am today. And um, so every day that I have an opportunity to, to race, um, I grab it with both hands and I try to be the best I can be. But there are so many other elements that, you know, I didn't want to just be a driver. I and mean, there's so many drivers. Each and every single one of us is individual and, uh, and, and um, unique in our own way. So it's super important that you show your uniqueness. Don't try and be the, like the person standing next to you. Be a un un unique person and, uh, and try to be the best you, you can be. And that's really what I try and do. And so. The best me is not just a racing driver, it's also someone that's going crazy, traveling the world, um, experiencing other things. And I am also trying to, um, to also trying to set up what I might want to do afterwards, because I can't, unfortunately can't do this forever, uh, as you know. Um, so, you know, I've hopefully got another few years at least within me, but beyond that, it's going to be something, something else. But there are, I do, I'm very, very fortunate. I've got a platform, a lot of people follow me, a lot of kids, and I think it's super important for us adults, particularly, to, to show uh, the right, you know, try to be the best role model you can be to the kids, because the kids are the future. Yeah. Well, I think uh, you, you definitely ace that as well, off track as you do on track. If we can turn it to, to this weekend, it's the 10th 
Grand Prix here in Abu Dhabi, you've won it three times. I know you're going to think that's not enough. You, you've won the championship. You, you know, the end of the season is very much in sight, and you can go away, recharge your batteries for next year. Uh, but just talk a little bit about the, the, the sort of region, the welcome you get here, the track, and what this Grand Prix means to you. This is really the best Grand Prix out of all the Grand Prix we have in terms of having, particularly the last Grand Prix we have in the year. There's no better Grand Prix to finish the season on. You know, you finish on the finale. The, you know, the, this is the one that all my family love to come to. The welcome that we get here is incredible. Hospitality is second to none. There is no, if, you, if any of you have been to other Grand Prix, they try, but they can't get close to Abu Dhabi, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, a big, big thank you to everyone here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can show your appreciation, Lewis, Lewis Hamilton, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Makes his way off stage. I think you're going to leave back at stage, Lewis. So. That's it. So we do have the new launch right behind us. Uh, the GT4 door A. Okay. Um, we just heard Lewis talking about it there. We're going to get our little sticky little fingers on this car in a matter of days so that we can go through this car exactly how it feels, what it's all about, the engine, etc. etc. Um, but for now, I'm just going to take you through a very sneak peek around the car inside and out, and then we're going to get our hands on it later on for a better look. So this is like the car that you can take from the racetrack to your family at home and stick a couple of kids in the back and take them out for dinner. That's kind of what they're trying to do with this car.